Idén Hungary és Met kiállításon vagyunk a Millenárison. Közel 50 tervező mutatkozik be Magyarországról, Csehországból, Szlovákiából és Lengyelországból. A fő csapásvonal az a bútortervezők, belső építészek, lakástextil tervezők, illetve lakásművészet kiegészítőket gyártó textilesek. Az idei újdonsága a tárlatnak a külföldi kiállítók részvétele, ami azért nagyon izgalmas, mert a Visegrád van támogatásával jön létre ez a kiállítás. Nagyon sok experimentális jellegű tárgyat láthatunk a kiállításon, ami mindenképpen egy előremutató, komoly design üzenettel rendelkezik. Ami még egy újdonság, illetve második alkalommal kerül megrendezésre, az az évékszere tárlat. Az évékszere az egy pályázat, ennek a végeredményét láthatjuk a Made in Hungary tárlaton belül. Külön köszönet illeti a Visegrád Fondot, a Nemzeti Kulturális Alapot és a Lakástrendet, a Cseh Centrumot, a Lengyel Intézetet és a Szlovák Intézetet, akik nélkül gyakorlatilag ez a tárlat nem jöhetett volna létre. Uh, my name is Marek Jurcsak, and I'm from Slovakia and I'm um, representing uh, four pieces of my, my, from my design collection. Uh, one of it is a suspension lamp, uh, second one is a bar stool, the third one is a, just a cl classic chair, and one is a, a lamp which was produced uh, as a prototype in a collaboration with a company. Uh, we would like, I mean like all of us over here, we would like to exhibit it again somewhere else, probably may maybe Milan or somewhere else, maybe, maybe London. But uh, all, all of us has the same point probably to get it to a producer, which would make uh, a serial stuff. I mean, like more pieces than one, just just a prototype. And I think that's uh, that's the that's the idea of every designer, and that's the point, maybe the aim. I just used a flock of birds sitting on uh, electricity electricity li uh, lines. Uh, which I used in a functional product like uh, this chest of drawers. I'm focused on furniture, uh, design of furniture, so uh, this was my bachelor work and uh, also my diploma work when, I we, when we are sitting. And um, I continue with uh, producing some new products in uh, our studio in Kosice. I really like exhibition and I like Budapest. Uh, I'm representing here wallpapers, uh, which are based on uh, uh, real nature topics and so on, like uh, Czech traditions and uh, walking to the forest. The inspiration of my wallpapers, uh, it's more about, about the nature and uh, also I like jokes and uh, uh, it's more about uh, like uh, jokes about people which are going to the forest and so on because uh, we have some tradition in Czech Republic uh, going to picking mushrooms in the forest so I have for example this wallpaper uh, is uh, about uh, cutting and drying mushrooms then, uh, then this wallpaper is for example about uh, Czech landscape which are uh, presented here like uh, some Chinese uh, ink landscape and then uh, on the third wallpaper I have more like uh, jokes of people which are going to the forest and they are leaving stuffs there and uh, yeah it's uh, like that. Uh, the, the name of this work is Breath Made and this is my graduation work uh, on Academy of Art, Architecture and Design in Prague. And I studied uh, Department of Product Design and also before this uh, academy I studied uh, glass. So uh, I like this material and, uh, and work uh, with glass. So it was the reason why I chose um, uh, to do graduation work from glass. 
uh, this object it's about it's something it's a really poetic uh, uh, way how to explain the Czech landscape and uh, the work with the glass because I was uh, really uh, fascinated of, uh, of atmosphere in a glass workshops and uh, I really like uh, people uh, who work with uh, with this material and everything around so it was the reason why I did uh, this um, this poetic landscape. It's amazing material, definitely, and I try to combine it in uh, another way. So I hope that it's uh, interesting for for the people. So mostly, I'm inspired uh, basically by the materials and. Uh, my big inspiration is the nature. Now I'm I'm quite focused on wood. Um, everything what I'm making is um, is quite hand handmade, but I'm collaborating with a uh, few um, people which are having their own wood workshops. So so I'm having few like uh, workers. I don't want to be making only ordinary objects. I really like if there is some story hidden inside it. If you if you have object and uh, you can see that there is there is some idea behind it as well. Right now I'm focused on that, but of course uh, you never know what will appear in your life. So I'm open to all materials. My name is Piotr Stolarski and I'm from Poland. I'm a product designer. And I've made uh, here an installation with some lamps uh, I'm uh, making. Uh, uh, this project is called Mikado. It's like pick-up sticks, that's uh, the game, uh, bar game with the, with the sticks. And I um, uh, developed this kind of concept um, of wooden uh, lamps. Uh, everyone is different. Uh, the lampshades are handmade as well. Um, and uh, we have uh, here uh, a few um, a few types of lamps, those big and the small ones. This is my uh, latest project, and it should be the, should be in production uh, later this year. I hope so, uh, uh, because uh, um, those lamps were kind of an experiment, and uh, this one is like ready for production. You can. Uh, easily assemble it, uh, easily manufacture and uh, ship it worldwide. I have a small design studio as well as a small manufacturing firm that uh, makes design. So it would be perfect combination actually. <laughs> Uh, so I'm presenting two different kinds of objects. One are armchairs that are based on refurbished uh, steel frames from the 60s and 70s. And the other pieces are kind of uh, custom pieces for a music uh, festival in uh, Warsaw. These are custom furniture. And um, generally what connects them is an algorithmic approach to design, to design one can say, because I'm always creating custom uh, software solutions for the projects that I'm working on. So this is something that connects uh, all of the pieces that, I, that I'm working on. Well, to be, uh, probably uh, mostly uh, by the designer sector because I'm usually working in such a way that I'm joining particular design studios uh, to create custom software tools for them. So that was the case, for example, with uh, the seats for the music festival. I joined a studio called uh, Super Super, a Warsaw-based studio as well, and created an algorithm for them. And with the seats, I joined another studio called Favori uh, that specializes in uh, refurbishing furniture from 60s and 70s and again I was creating uh, custom software solutions for them. So I guess it's more on the uh, designer side at this stage. This is precisely what I'm uh, planning to do in the future. So I'm very interested also in uh, computer-aided manufacturing techniques like 3D printing for example. And uh, yes, I'm focusing on creating uh, projects that specialize in this, well, that, that are using this kind of techniques across many scales. So from architecture down to product design. So we are child of love. Let me play with you.